okay, so now Eric is gonna show off some of his awesome uh, trial skills. Is it glass? Yeah. yeah. Oh. 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 Okay, we're gonna see. They have here. My name is Eirik Urtang. Uh, I'm a professional trial rider. And trial riding is like all about getting up, over and down from different obstacles like Concrete pipes, rocks, wooden obstacles, a car, anything, absolutely anything. <laughs> What's cool about trialing? Uh, probably the freedom and like the progression. You you're always like progressing step by step, and you can do it everywhere in the world. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your career. Yeah. Uh, Norway is like a, a young scene, so. The first competition we did was in, in 2011 and the first Norwegian Cup started 2012 and I started competing internationally in 2012 and I won the uh, overall Norwegian Cup all of the three, three years it has existed and I'm a Norwegian champion and I'm riding like the World Cups, World Championship, European Championship. How did it go in the different championships? Yeah. The World Championship this year was in Norway, first year for me in the World Championship and I got 19th, was not so satisfied but it's okay and in the World Cup I think I got 18th overall, yeah, both this year and last year. Yeah. What about the Norwegian Cups? Yeah, I won, won all of them, I won 12 out of 15 single races or something. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, he's so. The best in Norway by far. Pretty cool, pretty cool. It's like cool. I heard about like best of three, but now it's like best of 15. <laughs> so, and if you, yeah, that's kind of. Uh, so, how did you end up start uh, doing this? And when, when was it? Yeah, starting trials was like a natural progression. So, I just rode my bike and like progressing towards trials riding before I knew it myself. Like, I was just trying to jump off or jump on to different edges and obstacles and suddenly I find out that this is trials and this is what's natural for me and I just didn't look back. Tell us about the bike. Yeah, a trials bike is quite different from a normal bike or it has normal wheel size like 26 inch wheel size or 20 inch or 24 like you find in other bikes but the frame is super low we have no seat, we have super sharp brakes, we have like uh, the, the drivetrain is like quite special and yeah, it's like nothing unnecessary parts, it's just the vital stuff. Who's the most famous trial biker in the world? Ah, uh, that's gotta be like Danny McCaskill or Hans Ray. Hans Ray is the guy that started it all, but he's like in his late 40s now. And maybe Danny McCaskill is most now known now, but he's... After he launched that video a few weeks ago? Yeah, or the other videos he's launched, but the problem is that he's not actually into real trials. He's more into like a street style trials riding, which... Street style trial riding in nature? Yeah, yeah, but that was just mountain biking, yeah. Yeah, but his style is not pure trials. It's a mix of BMX and trials and stuff, yeah. So if you do trial in the mountains, it's mountain biking? Yeah, if you do it on a mountain bike, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, cool, cool. <laughs> So now our friend here found a perfect spot to ride his bicycle, that pole. The only problem was that it had some, uh, some uh, uh, bolts sticking out of it that he has to get rid of. So of course he just shows up prepared with a 
with the right tools to do it. What are you doing? Oh! Safety first, man. Safety first. Well, so you're gonna, you're gonna. What, what are you doing here? Yeah, it's not rideable with these bolts, so I thought, why not remove them? Because they, they are intended for being here as an obstacle, and with these bolts, it's useless. So, like for normal people, in me at least, when I see this thing, bike riding, it's not the first thing that comes to my mind. Yeah, but, but as a trial biker, you might be thinking differently. <laughs> yeah, you need to see every obstacle as an opportunity. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. But let's say, let's say uh, I'm, uh, let's say I'm, in, I'm interested in the sport, and if I want to get into the sport, what I like, do I have to buy like a super expensive bike and take a year off from my job, or mm. how does it work? First off, like the most expensive bike you can get in trials is like 20,000 Norwegian. Okay. Uh, so it's not an expensive sp sport, but you can just start off with a normal mountain bike, uh, prepare the brakes so they're working perfectly and maybe lower your seat and start from there. And if you find it interesting, uh, you can continue and maybe get a new bike, remove the seat. Yeah. You can start from like 5,000 Norwegian and okay. yeah. So it's a pretty accessible sport. It is and the, the idea that you can actually practice the sport anywhere in the world, everywhere. Mm. Uh, but, but yeah, the hard part is that learning the skills required to going up on an obstacle is the hard part. Yeah. Like, yeah, it takes some determination, some sweat and a lot of tears and some blood. Perfect.